well, they are important because uh, they take our society and the world through a journey we have traversed as a society in the evolution of our own country. Um, from way back then, the pre-colonial era to the colonial era during apartheid and how human spirit became victorious against the uh, evil spirit of apartheid. So we have uh, traversed this road. This is the 21st year of the celebration of the national orders. And uh, we are going forward because there are so many people who contributed to make 1994 breakthrough a reality. So we can't now that we have reached uh, where we wanted to, to be, which is freedom and democracy, and forget where we come from, and forget those who contributed both within the borders of this country and beyond our national borders. The, how do people, if for example someone feels that there's someone deserving, what is the process? Is it open to the public to actually be able to, at the very least, have certain people considered? Absolutely. The people who uh, have been bestowed this highest honor are people who have been nominated by the general public, uh, by people, South Africans, uh, people from other countries uh, who would have nominated South Africans and who would have nominated people from other countries. There is a, a, a national order, the advisory uh, council of the national orders, uh, whose chairperson is Miss uh, Bridget Mabandla. Uh, and this is the council which sits down and look through uh, a process uh, through the eye of a needle, you know, uh, ensuring that indeed this particular individual uh, deserves this. Uh, a lot of research is done also to, you know, ascertain the individuals who have been nominated. And at the end of the day, uh, you have so much uh, who would be receiving in one particular year. And, and, and this year as well has been a success.